joining in. Wish you a good weekend. You've uh, thrown light on a lot of these stocks. In the dying minutes of trade, we had Insecticide India. Numbers coming up for you. Stock up 8% after what seems like a 70% jump in profit. May have been led by EBITDA margin expansion as well because the revenue has grown just about 2.5%. Net profit up 70%. The stock up nearly 8%. It's been a good week, uh, uh, you know, especially from where we started, how it appeared at the start of the week. We're ending with just about minor losses. So we thought that, you know, this could be a very rough week for the Bulls with uh, the kind of handover that we got at the start of this week itself. But uh, we, we bounced back pretty smartly and ending about a percent and a half for the week for the Nifty and, uh, you know, for the Sensex as well, similar amounts. For the Nifty Bank, it has been slightly weak, so down about 1.7% for the week. The last day of the week was pretty strong. 250 points on the Nifty, 800 points on the Sensex. Midcap's doing a tad better, along with the Nifty Bank as well, gaining about two-thirds of a percent. The top gainers today, we had Aisha Motors doing extremely well, ONGC doing extremely well as well. From the broader markets, the stock of the day, the two stocks of the day were Trent and NBCC. NBCC on that order win, Trent on uh, the back of strong numbers that came by. On the way down, we had Alembic Pharma, which was down by about 6% as well. And then we had the stellar listing of Ola, which opened absolutely flat, but thereafter, piled onto the gains and ended about 20% higher. So good end to a wobbly week. We end the week with about a percent and a half lower on the Nifty and the Sensex. But that could have been much worse had the global weakness continued for the markets in the whole. With that, we wrap up on this edition of Closing Bell. But you don't go anywhere because on the other side of the short break, you have our Friday special editors roundtable coming up next.